What's up, what's up, wasabi? I'm here with who? Mega Brain 600. And we just found some vending machines, yo, right? Check these things out. This one sells cup ramen. And you go to the front desk and they'll give you the chopsticks and the hot water. That's kind of cool. Different nuts and rice crackers. Oh, look at this. This is the Holy Grail right here. It's a beer and what are these, cocktails? Looks like, huh? Two highs? Two highs. And then, oh, no way, look, this is whiskey on the bottom right here, Nika whiskey. I've never seen that in a vending machine. And it's with Wilkinson, which is like the, the club soda. Definitely gonna get one of those. And they've got, oh, look at this. What are those? Mixed nuts and rice crackers? Two different types. You get the nuts and I'll get the whiskey. This is the standard Japanese one. This is more of a Western blend. Almonds, butter, peanuts. What, what is arare, do you know? It's a type of rice cracker, I yeah. think. Black pepper crackers. Hit it. It's in plastic bottle that's shaped like a can. I like that. Are you old enough to be drinking whiskey? Yeah. Okay, go ahead then. 300 for whiskey. I like the uh, logo on this, the, the Nika whiskey guy. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. It says Tsumetai, which is cold. Nice. Is it cold? It's cold. And it is, what is that, 9% alcohol. Let's get in the car and uh, not drink and drive. I almost never buy soft drinks in Japan, so this will be a good experience. I know which one I would go for. I definitely know what I would go for. <laughs> what are you going for? I think the dr our driver wants ocha, she said. Sokem bicha, I think she likes. You're up. Oh, these are really good. This Minute Maid pink grapefruit yeah. juice is the bomb. I love that. Oh, and they've got aloe and white grape. I haven't seen that flavor. Oh, he goes for the craft tea. Not what I was expecting. Definitely not what I was expecting. Peach Boy. 150, the price is right. And ready? No, 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 no. Green tea, oh, it's 180, we don't have enough. You gotta get the little one. Wait a minute, let's see, this one is 150, this one is 180. It's definitely worth 30 and more for that, right? Yeah. It's like double the amount. Stepping it up with a $5 coin. I'll get the Dr. Pepper next time. There it is, three drinks. Let's get on the road. So we've changed locations down here to the Boat Harbor. We just finished, uh, what do you call these things? Stand up paddle boards, right? Yeah. And we finished a session this morning. He was flying the drone actually, so maybe we have some drone footage, not sure. It was his first try.
the name of the location is the Marine House Izu-san. Uh, basically, we're in Atami, Japan, which is about an hour to the west of Tokyo. About an hour. Nice seaside town. So we're having a little competition. We're gonna let the air out of these inflatable boards, and then we're gonna put them into the bags. And the winner is the one that gets his stand-up paddleboard into the bag first. Good luck. Are you ready, sir? Ready. And action. <laughs> Two seconds. Oh, I forgot my towel. <laughs> oh, I forgot my towel. He wins. He wins. You can't be leaving stuff behind. Mission accomplished. Got the SUP boards packed up and in the car. What's in here? Dessert? Oh, the drinks. That's right, from the vending machine. Let's see. Uh, where's my Dr. Pepper? I should have got Dr. Pepper. What was I thinking? <laughs> Green tea. Beverage of champions. Cheers. Cheers. Peach boy. Yeah. Definitely should have got Dr. Pepper. What was I thinking? How's that? Is it sweet? Not too sweet. Not too sweet. Minute Maid. Yeah, it's a good company. Coca-Cola company. But the, the classic green tea. Not classic. Authentic, they're calling it. See? Not that sweet. I'm gonna have to try that. All right. Do they have other flavors, too? They say that they have... Um, honey. Oh, there's honey in this one? Yeah. Oh, then I do got to try it. Oh, this is banging. <laughs> it does have some honey in it. But you're right, it's not too sweet. Yeah. That's really good. Nice. It's hard to have this stuff after you have something sweet. <laughs> All right, we got anything else in there? Something to eat maybe? Sweet! Four kinds of otsumami, which are like drinking snacks. It's a plastic can. All right, hit me, hit me. More, more. I want an almond, at least one almond. <laughs> Come on. Come on. All right, all right. Bub me some almonds. So it, looks, so it looks like almonds, butter, peanuts. It's always you get more peanuts than anything, right? Yeah. And then two types of rice crackers. Just Go for it, huh? Hmm. All right. It'd be better with a beer or a too high or something. Yeah, it's otsumami. Otsumami means with alcohol, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. We have any alcohol in there? We actually uh -oh. do. Oh! Forgot about that. Mmm. Nika whiskey. All right. Crack it. It's after 12, isn't it? It's 11.43. <laughs> My dad would always say, you can't drink until after 12. So, sorry, Dad. <laughs> this one's for you. Go ahead, you do the honors. It's uh, it's whiskey and um, I think it's like club soda. It's, it's Wilkinson is the name of the, the soda company that they're partnering with. Just take one sip. Okay. You're not gonna like it. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna be sweet at all. First time he's had whiskey, ladies and gentlemen. This is a moment. Comment? <laughs> it's too strong. It's too strong. Not alcohol. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, it is 9%, which that is pretty strong for these canned drinks. Yeah, see, we, we're more into like drinking these too high drinks. They're, they're more popular in Japan, right? This is more than like older people drink this, and I guess I'm just not that old yet. <laughs> yeah. Enough said. It's actually pretty good. I like the Wilkinson Club Soda. It's, it's good stuff. All right, so we gotta get on the road and we're gonna try to find some more vending machines. We're on a mission. We have found a new ice cream vending machine. They're calling it Premium Ice Cream. They got Hagen Dazs, they got some wafer cracker things. What do you call these? Crispy sandwich, the caramel. Lady Borden, this is one of my favorites right here. Oh, but wait, wait up. They've got Coolish, a new flavor, Muscat grape, 
flavored Kulis. That's what I'm getting. What do you want, Mago? I want the vanilla. Okay. Ice cream in a bag. Suck it out. Oh no! Oh, it went way deep under the machine. It's a five dollar coin, yo. Got it. Rich and full flavored muscat grape sherbet in a squeeze pouch. So we are at the Atami Castle right here. And this goes down the Izu Peninsula down to Ito and Shimoda. Beautiful, beautiful area. And they've got a little foot bath out here, it looks like. You can soak in the hot water here. Just your feet. It's our driver right here. Is it comfortable? Okay, okay so you basically, you gotta massage it and, and get it soft. Yeah, okay, yours is ready. Soften it up so then you can suck it out. There we go. Oh, that's it pretty amazing. Smells good. Yeah, you can try it. It's very fragrant. I'm gonna let it melt a little bit more. Mmm, that's good. It's a very nice muscat flavor. Yeah, it's that sort of sharp, sharp sort of uh, sourness. Very good. Standard vanilla, you can't go wrong with the vanilla. Yeah, ice cream in a bag. It's just so fun to eat, right? Yeah. Go for it. Can you show us a little bit of it? We want to see it. Yeah, there you go, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah coolest. Ice cream in a bag for, what, a buck and a half. This is free. Well, would we, we, would we pay like uh, $6 to get in here or something? Pretty reasonable. And then we did the Trick Art Museum as well, which is right next door, but definitely would recommend Atami. Great place to come. And again, it's only like an hour outside of Tokyo to the west. Feels so good. It's just about the right temperature too. It's not too hot, not too cold. Sometimes they're too hot. It's just like you got you're in for like five seconds and you're done, right? Yeah. But this this is just right. Here we are. We're at the Village Vanguard, looking at Gashapons. This place is the coolest store in all of Japan. This is definitely my favorite store. But we're not gonna go in. We're just gonna look at the Gashapon. This is the one I want right here. The sandals. It's a sandal key holder. For how much is it? Some back Glen, 300. So you're either gonna get the brown ones, black ones, or what is that color? Lime, blue, any. Any will be fine, just don't really want that color. Yeah, the brown or the blue will be perfect. Gotcha, gotcha. Boom! Cannot see inside there. We'll have to open it up. This is cool. Look at that. They got, look at that. They got buttered toast from Pasco, the bread company. English muffins. <laughs> you can get a baguette. Oh, that's cool. A mini drink bar. Oh, ice cream ma makers. Here's some more food ones. Bacon key holder. A bacon keychain. You can get a sunny side up egg. You can get okura, okra. Let's do that. Let's get some food. You get a food keychain. one do we get? We got the okra! Woohoo! That one right there. Let's open them up, shall we? And it's got the black ones. I really wanted the brown ones. Got the black ones. But they're all right. Because these are definitely Japanese style sandals. They're ubiquitous in Japan. They're everywhere. Everybody wears these. Number two coming up. And with these things, the hardest part is getting the tape off so you can't open them. All right, here we go. Gotta work for it. Look at that. Okra. Okra, everybody. The hat is so cute. Okra. Let's get it in the light here. 
That is beautiful. So which one do you guys like better? Mmm, they're both cool. Uh, they're definitely both cool. All this gashapon machine stuff is making me hungry. Let's get some to eat. Hey guys, I'm at this onsen town, a hot spring town in Atagawa. It's about two hours west of Tokyo and there is a ramen machine here that you can put the hot water in so you can make it right here, which is awesome. These machines are really rare. The price is 220. 220 in. And let's see, they got seafood, chicken, curry, and just the standard. I'll go for the seafood. I haven't had this in a long time. Okay, so it comes out down here. And then we're gonna prepare it here on this little ledge. So you can take the wrapping off. Three minute instant ramen. That's what it looks like. Gah, smells terrible. It smells really horrible, but it's gonna be nice as soon as you put the hot water in it. Okay, so I just follow the instructions. We did that put it in there, make sure it goes under the spout on the left. And then here, oh, you push this for the water, simple enough. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, go, rock and roll. We're not getting my reflection there. Keep going, it goes up to the blue line. It's coming up, it's coming up and stop. It is. Oh, now it smells good. Now it smells like soup and not some sort of processed nonsense. Close it up. You got the choppers down here. And away we go. We wait for three minutes. So I just finished up in the hot springs. It was really, really relaxing. They had a koi fish pond, which was really sweet. And while I wait, I'm gonna get on this thing. It's called the Rodeo Boy. Oh boy. I'm wearing my fancy pants. My cowboy pants. Let's get some Gangnam style going. Here we go. On. Oh, jeez. Jesus. I don't think I can hold the camera. This is just the low speed. Let's just dial it up. Let's see. Can you push the button? Let's just dial it up. This is the best exercise device ever. Oh my gosh, rodeo boy. I gotta get one of these from my house. Yeah, and let's see, this is a shameless t-shirt plug here. I got it from a vending machine. I got it from a vending machine, that's right. Almost fell on my keister. Okay, enough of this. Stop, how do you stop this thing? Okay, more fun than a barrel of monkeys, let me tell you. Wow. Okay, let's get into it. I think it is ready. This is by the Nissin Ramen Company. Nissin is the number one cup ramen. It is the cup noodle company, basically. That's who they are. That's what they do, so. Go, win, in. Yep. Give you guys a bit of a view of this here, what it looks like. Look at all that color. It literally has come to life once it cooks in the water for three minutes. Smells absolutely heavenly. I've been exercising all day, doing all kinds of wild stuff. All right, let's get into it. Itadakimasu. That also means itadakimasu. Not too bad. Nice and hot. The noodles are a bit on the hard side, but, but it's okay. I don't think I went for a full three minutes, but, but definitely all right. Good taste with the soup. And what's in here? Let's see. The, uh, the, there's corn in here. There's the fake crab. Fake crab meat, and there's some onions. This is nice. I think there might be some little shrimps. Oh, oh this is so good. Oh, it's banging. 
Definitely. Banging. So I'm gonna introduce you guys to my friend here and then we're gonna rate this meal. Okay, I'll be right back. My friend is over here on the counter. This guy. Yeah, hey buddy. Never travel anywhere without him. Yep, I call him Hammy. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Oh, you talk. Talk. You can talk? You can talk. Would you like some ramen noodles? Not ramen. You like some ramen noodles? Not ramen. It's cup of noodle. It's cup of noodle. Okay, so we're gonna rate this meal together, me and Hammy. So we're gonna rate this meal together, me and Hammy. Oh, what? What? Here you go. Get a, Get a bite. Did you taste it? What does it taste like? Nom 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 Did you say nom nom nom? Did you say nom nom nom? Because if you did, that is the top ranking. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. He said it. All right, so that is going to do it for this one. This huge spectacular extravaganza of vending machines from lots of different places in Japan. It takes me a long time to put these things together because it's so hard to find different machines that I haven't done before. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did like it and as always I look forward to reading your comments because there's going to be a giveaway. I would read your comments anyway. So I'm giving away three of my Get Some Snack Packs. All you need to do is put a comment down below and you'll automatically be entered for your chance to win. There'll be a link right up here to somebody unboxing one. I wanna thank you guys for watching once more. Give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Two thumbs down if you didn't enjoy it. Yeah, that's how it works, I'm pretty sure. And as always, I look forward to reading your comments. Good luck on the giveaway and we shall see you in the next one. And if you haven't picked up one of my t-shirts yet, this one right here, let me get in the light here. I got it from a vending machine right there. There's the bowl of ramen and there's the cup noodle. Peace out, peeps. Peace out, peeps. Is that a good ending? <laughs> and remember, I got it from a vending machine and you can too. You just gotta come to Japan.